up loud and proud crowd. And Rosine, 24V crowd, you know. Oh, let me see that ring again. For those of you who <laughs> didn't know, there was a video, it's going semi-viral on the channel. I proposed to this beautiful, beautiful young lady, um, the, the woman of my dreams, by far. By far, couldn't ask for anything more. You are absolutely beautiful, baby, and I love you so much. Yeah, but anyways, guys, we're going to be um, working on a couple of small things. Today. When I say working, I mean not actually like um, wrenching on anything. If I can get my, I'm gonna get my hat off for a second here, but the wheels and tires are mounted and balanced for the mega cap. So we're gonna go pick those up right now, and then we are going to hunt down a deep socket to get these spiked lug nuts off. Okay, so these spiked lugs, we need a really deep socket and to find the right one. I don't know who's gonna have it or where I'm gonna find it. And I didn't have any time to order one online ahead of time, nor did I know what size to order. So we're gonna try to drive around, find a place that has one, and uh, so we can get these wheels off at all in the first place. And then we've got a couple other small things we might do. We might wanna do the exhaust tip on this truck today, and then possibly, that's all. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get to going on stuff and see what we can get done. Here are the new wheels and tires put together for the Longhorn. Super freaking wide. They are 15 inches wide. Just about 15 inches wide. And some people love like a 12 and a half wide tire with like a super stretched lip um, to the lip of the wheel, but I just don't like that. I just I just don't. Um, I prefer this to where there's still some kind of sidewall, some kind of rubber that kind of molds over to kind of protect the lip of the wheel and that's the look I wanted to go with that's the look I like not to mention with that much wider tread pattern it's gonna look a lot cooler on the truck little 10 wides and 15 little 10 wides 15 so so gonna look gonna look really really good we're not gonna be getting these on today because I need to have the truck aligned first and with these 10 wides um, anything more than that the shop around the corner wouldn't be able to get it on their alignment rack. So I'm gonna have them done on this set for now, just to get be able to get these on, and then I might have it double checked at another place that can do wide wheels and tires, and have them check it just to make sure, just so I'm not, you know, just wearing down these tires like crazy, because, you know, the alignment's not perfect or something, you know, with a bigger set, but it should be fine. I'm pretty sure, you know, alignment's alignment, but just to be safe. But I do have one more product that I'd like to put on the truck today, and that is an exhaust tip. Now, I know I already, I know I already bought an exhaust tip for the truck, and it's a six inch tip, but I just went ahead and ordered it. It was only like 35 bucks, just because I thought it, we could uh, do a, another little testing and put an eight inch on the truck, especially once I have this giant wide set of wheels and tires on it and the truck's lifted, it's up higher, it looks bigger. I just think this might add to the look a little bit. Um, I like the six inch tip and I might go back to it, but I also wouldn't mind putting this on just to see how it looks. Completely forgot to mention, which is what we've been working on the last like three or four hours, which is trying to find a way to get the lugs off the truck, given I can't find another one of the, um, shoot, I can't find a socket deeper than this, which is what technically you need. You need something more like that length to be able to fit over the spikes in the truck. But what I'm actually gonna do, it's not really recommended and I wouldn't recommend doing this, but you can take this, which is the standard um, deep socket, and just slide it to where it rests on that ball there, but it's not clicked and snapped on, like this. Like that, see that? It's only about halfway down on. And then that gives you just about a quarter inch of socket to actually grab onto the lug itself 
and then you can, without too much effort, um, rotate that off like that and then put your impact on just to, you know, take them off real quick. But that's plenty to break them loose. And once I get these legs off, I'm not putting these spike lugs back on because I'm going to put the caps on the Anthem wheels with a different set of lugs. So that being that, um, yeah, it works. This works. Uh, it's not like the most effective way. and I probably wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're being very, very careful. But it it does work. It does get over the spike just enough to grab the actual lug to get it off. Well, we got the exhaust tip on. It took about 45 minutes of uh, lubricating it, whacking the freaking thing with a hammer, a board. I mean, it for some reason was just extremely, extremely snug. And the other exhaust tip, which had the exact same inlet, which is a four inch, it went right on, right off, no problem. But this one, for some reason, maybe it was a little bit tight. It was a little bit more snug than it should have been. And yes, the bolt up on top that's welded on there was completely loosened and actually off of it to make sure that that wasn't keeping it held together too tight. But yeah, it was just a real pain in the butt. Well, we're going to start it up here and see what it sounds like. By the time you guys see this truck next, it's going to look completely different. It's going to look a lot different. New front end parts in terms of uh, appearance. New rear, rear end parts. You guys, keep in mind, you only have 10 more days left to enter to win the 1997 F-350 four-door long bed 7.3 power stroke. This wind is really, it's, it's really bitter cold night. I don't have my nice coat on, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned, this truck's gonna look absolutely killer in just a couple days here. And then of course, a bunch more parts are gonna be going on this truck. We're gonna try to door crown with that 7.3 here in a couple days too, and see if we can get it rolling, um, rolling around again. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. Every $15 is another entry to win. Information is down in the description below. Definitely feel free to check it out and get entered while you still can. And keep in mind, if you are anywhere in the USA 50 states, I cover the cost to get you the giveaway truck to your driveway so you guys don't have to come up with a bunch of unexpected you know fees to get the truck delivered to you or something like that i take care of that kind of stuff thank you guys so much information in the description below leave a fat thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you in the next video peace